Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. We have some stuff to talk about. And that one thing is guaranteed flashback player SBC. It was put into the code on Saturday, yesterday. And I wanna talk of this SBC, which could be coming today or possibly in the next couple of days uh, in FIFA Ultimate Team. Most of the time though, when they put this type of uh, pack code in the game, uh, it comes the next day. This SBC is not new to FIFA. Last year, we had a guaranteed flashback player SBC as well that came out, I think, during the footies time frame, and it was a decent SBC. This year, with even more flashback cards, there are a really there's a larger pool of flashback cards that we could choose from, whether they're premium or not premium cards. So there's a lot of them out there. A lot of people have flashback items in their team already, so I don't know if this is going to deter people. You know, a lot of people have Modric, Mertens, especially a guy like maybe Militao or... Um, you know, Boateng is a very, very popular flashback item. Uh, Vidal was used a lot. Rooney was used a lot earlier this year. So I want to show you the player pool of all the cards that you might be able to pack from this SBC. And then, of course, talk to you about uh, what this could do to the market as well. But first things first, this is the pack code tweeted out by Footwatch today. Kind of at a weird time, honestly. It was in the middle of the afternoon or early evening for you UK guys. Um, but this is honestly not a normal time when these codes get dropped but flashback player guarantees a flashback player uh, that is going to be some sort of SBC pack that is coming out in the game I would rather have this than a party bag I think because this is at least something different uh, is it going to be that good the moments packs weren't that bad I mean a lot of people got Goretzka's uh, some Jota's which is decent so the moments the guaranteed moments player was not that terrible of a pack, uh, but I'm interested to see how this one gives out because if we look at the entire list of cards that you could pack, this is by G is a legend on Twitter. Absolute mad lad for putting this all together. Um, if you look at like at this stage of the game, which cards are really, really usable, uh, you know, there's not a ton. There's just a select few cards that would be really, really usable, usable and the rest are just like cool items, I guess. So hopefully this SBC is pretty cheap. I'm thinking like an 84 rated squad with maybe like 70 chemistry or, or maybe even lower chemistry. Probably not though, because it seems to be every SBC they put out recently is like 65, 70 chem or above. But, uh, you know, you're going to have guys like Rooney, the 96 Modric is kind of hiding behind the screen right here. 95 Mertens, uh, 93 Modric. Witzel, Neuer, Hummels, David Luiz was a, a lot of people did that during Team of the Year. Miranda is one that I kind of wish I would have just for just for fun. Uh, Hulk is going to be in here. Paulinho, Balotelli, Alexis Sanchez, Aspilicueta, who's got uh, I think Aspi has two versions or no Alonso has two versions, the 90 and the 88. Of course, Militao with his two versions. Quaresma, Essien, Biabiani, Long, Zarate, Gervinho. I mean. This SBC, there's a lot of lower tier guys in here, right? You can tell there's a lot of lower tier cards that you could get, but there's also a decent amount on the higher tier. Like Vitzel was was cheap, but not bad. Uh, Rooney, I would love a second chance at Rooney. I would, if I did this SBC, I would like to pack Rooney, Neuer, or Hulk. I think Rooney, Neuer, or Hulk. Where's Hulk at? Where is the Hulk? There he is, 88. That was a card that I wish I would have done and I didn't do. But this is a very interesting SBC pack, right? Because all these guys, as far as we know for the earlier part of this year, have been only available as SBCs. And now we have a chance to maybe pack one of them from an upgrade pack, which is very, very interesting. So uh, just kind of take a look at this list. And, you know, there are some top tier plays in here that are available. But a lot of people have already crafted those SBCs, like Modric, like Vitzel. Uh, you know, Allen, Boateng, a lot of these guys have come towards the later stages of the year and you've seen a lot of their prices. Uh, their SBC prices has go have gone up a lot. Like if you go into the players tab and, and or maybe even on Footbin and you look at some of these guys prices like the flashback uh, Cyprian who is in here, like this SBC since fodder is so expensive is, is very, very expensive right now. A lot of these cards are expensive. Alonzo uh, is a, a card that's out here still. Ogbonna. Uh, Vidal is in the, under the players tab with no expiration date. Uh, I think there's like one or two more maybe, uh, except they're probably other ones that I've already done. So when they're back, so yeah, Boateng I've already done, Militao I've already done, uh, Alexander that's a player moments, flashback Allen premium is one of them, and then Luka Modric. So a lot of you guys may have already done some of these SBCs, but if this if this SBC is cheap enough, if they make this like an 83 rated squad with decent chemistry, if it's cheap enough to do. Like maybe, I don't know, how much is the, um, 
how much was the moments SBC when that came out? I'm not entirely sure how much that SBC was, but that like that was like a 50k SBC, right? Or 60k? Uh, no, it was a little more than that. Uh, moments guaranteed was 72,000 coins. 72,000 coins for the moments guaranteed, and that required uh, that SBC required I think an 84 rated squad, if I'm correct. What has Footbin saying? Footbin is saying, yes, this was an 84 rated squad with 70 chem with one TOTS team of the week or moments player. So that squad uh, cost you 70,000 coins to do that SBC. I would expect around a very similar price today for a flashback guaranteed as well. What is that going to do to the fodder market? Is that going to make some of these cards go up a little bit more? It could. But uh, honestly, I don't know if I would really invest in that too much. Maybe you would see an upkick and maybe like a few 86s possibly if it's like a team of the week card. Um, but still, a lot of the hype right now is just uh, on like the player SBCs and the objectives and the prime icons. And especially since people are like almost rinsed right now. There, a lot of people on this game do not have coins. You're seeing a lot of numbers go down on FIFA like viewership numbers number of people watching this video uh, in the past week has gone down a lot, I've noticed. And I think that's just because all this content that is coming out is causing people to get broke, right? They've done a prime icon. They maybe did Ndombele and Perisic or maybe Firmino. And now they're just flat broke. A lot of the casual FIFA base is just flat broke and they're grinding objectives maybe. and Or maybe even just done with the game because they can't do anything else with all this content that's coming out. So that's quite interesting. But there's still going to be a, a decent amount of hype for this flashback SBC. Maybe you go through and you buy a couple 82s uh, with good links, good nations that could bang uh, up in price a little bit with this SBC, depending on like the uh, position. Kieta's 1.2K. I feel like this would be a card that, with good links. You know, he's English, so it looks like he did go up uh, a couple days ago to like 1.8K, 2.3K on the Xbox. So... You know, he's down here like 1.2, 1.1 again. Maybe you just go through and stock up on a few like the 82s and 83s. And one way that you could prepare for this SBC is using the last time period that the upgrade SBCs are available. These 82 to 88 upgrades are going to go away right when this SBC would come out today. It's 6 p.m. on Sunday. If that's when this SBC is going to come out, uh, do a few of these. Honestly, go out on the market. I think this SBC costs like 5K uh, to do some like... 200 coins bronze cards put them in or just use some bronze cards from your club and then go out and bid on non-rare golds for 350 and you can do that SBC for like literally 5,000 coins and you're guaranteed at least an 82 rated player let's say you do 10 of these most likely at least these have been pretty good for me out of 10 82 to 88 upgrades I've been getting like three players on average that are above 85 rated like three walkouts basically uh, which I know might be really insane luck but you're probably going to at least get some 84s, 85s, maybe an 86 or two, and that will help you do that SBC. So this is what I would say. If you want to do that guaranteed flashback SBC and you're on a budget, it's probably going to be cheaper for you to go out and try a few of these upgrades. Keep a few coins because, you know, you might not pack cards that link together if you're doing these upgrade packs. Um, but I would say that that could be a move for you if you want to get some fodder in your club and still have a chance at some, you know, you're paying 5K, you could get an 82 uh, you could get an 84. Basically, if you get an 84 or above in this SBC pack, it's a W because all 84s are 6K, I believe. And even 83s, a lot of them are like five, 6,000 coins if they're good links, good nations. So maybe try a few of those, see if you have decent luck before that SBC comes out today. Um, but will that SBC ca cause a crash on the market, a guaranteed moments or a guaranteed flashback player SBC I don't really think it'll cause panic, to be honest. It's Sunday anyway. The weekend league sell-off is in full swing. We're seeing cards that are dropping down in price. Uh, and this is the, like the second half of the video that I kind of want to talk about. I'm starting to see some people sell off on foot birthdays and sell off on some other uh, like future stars and maybe some road to the final cards as well because they are most likely going to be in batch two packs this week. And also some uh, secondary league team of the seasons, lower league tots. Uh, I'm starting to see some sell-off in those areas because as I talked about yesterday, this weekend might be your best time to get out of some of those. Militao was 200K for most of the weekend. He's down to 187. Uh, and just especially on the high tier end, right? A lot of people have been asking me about this foot birthday and Pape. What is going to happen to this card? Is he going to drop a bunch since he's going to be going back into packs? And I want to talk about this a little bit too, because yes, Mbappe is going back into packs. This 94 Mbappe will be released back into packs, most likely with batch two 
on Thursday. So yes, I have some people say, no, the packs are going to be, the batch two is going to be on Friday. It is actually Thursday based on this time frame right here. Four days, 15 hours from now is Thursday at 6 p.m. UK. So basically batch one will be in packs for like the first few hours of rewards until 6 p.m. Then whatever content is dropped at 6 p.m., batch two will be in packs and then batch one will be out of packs. So that's kind of interesting to talk about and to think about from like a supply perspective for the batch one cards. Uh, could they take another hit in price on rewards day? Just depends on the card, honestly, and whatever happens throughout the week this week. We'll talk about that in this video as well. But if you've got full birthday cards, uh, if you've got uh, road to the final cards like that Militao, I'm really scared for this card. If you own that road to the final Militao, this, these cards have been very, very rare this year in FIFA. They did not get supplied that much during the road to the final promotion. And the fact that this guy is still almost 200,000 coins, I know he's inflated because of Mendy, but I would seriously get out of that card and get out of all of your road to the finals very, very soon. Even a guy like Yoris, which I think Yoris right now is very inflated because of the Ismaili Asar SPC. His road to the finals is like 140K. I would seriously get out of these cards Wow, 1,200 games played with Yoris. What? 21 different owners. Man, French goalkeepers are always in demand. 500 games played. 1,200, that's the same one. How many this guy got? Both these cards have 1,200 games played? That's insane. That is, that's honestly unbelievable. 500 games played as well. Anyways, these Road to the Finals are not very supplied. They're going to have a big drop in price when they do come back into packs on Thursday, in my opinion, and through the weekend because these cards are going to get packed a lot. These cards are going to get packed a decent amount um, when they do get released back into packs. And they're really rare right now, which is maybe keeping their price a bit higher on some of them. Um, so that would be just my warning to you as maybe you are prepping or you have some of those in your club. Again, for birthdays, have already started to drop a little bit. Like I looked at that uh, Mbappe card. For birthday Mbappe, uh, I believe was 5.4 million coins earlier this week. And now my guy is down to 5.27. So he's dropped about 200,000 coins already a little bit more than that. I would expect him to drop a little bit more, but a lot of people saying, is this Mbappe card or is, um, you know, a, a uh, foot birthday um, Van Dyke or a very popular, very meta foot birthday card. Are these cards going to drop a lot when they're in packs? What's going to kind of happen? Well, what we saw with batch number one, and this is going to happen with batch two as well, there's going to be a lot of panic right away. And there's going to be a lot of selling off before we get to Thursday when this card would be back in packs. That in the sell-off is when I think you want to buy this card. Maybe you wait until Thursday when they're actually released and people see, oh, this card's back in packs. Because the reality is this card is not going to get packed like at all. It's not going to get packed very much. Same with St. Maximin. You're going to have a lot of panic. And as long for the St. Maximin situation, as long as we don't have a Usman Dembele SBC, right? Because an Usman Dembele right wing card would affect Alan St. Maximin. And Usman and Dembele uh, center attacking mid card, if they would somehow position change or, or do something with like a position change Usman, that would definitely affect, uh, affect Flipper de Mbappe, I think a little bit. But um, as long as we don't have that SBC coming out, a lot of the drop in price that you're going to see on this card, the very, very meta foot birthdays is going to be panic driven because what we saw last week when batch one came out, a lot of cards from Wednesday night, when they were first re-released back into packs with rewards, they actually jumped up after that. And they actually went up. I don't know if you remember Ben Yedder, right? Ben Yedder's shapeshifter card, uh, two weeks ago, I guess it was almost now. This card right now, I think is like 600,000 coins, 600,000 coins for the shapeshifter Ben Yedder. But uh, two weeks ago when he was first into packs, he was over a million coins. He dropped down to about uh, 790,000 coins to an hour or two after um, the best of set one was in packs. So when he went back into packs, he then went back all the way up over 900,000 coins after rewards as people used and bought this card back up for their teams because he got a little bit cheaper than where he was before. I would expect some of that same movement to happen with the Mbappe, with the Alan St. Maximin, if we don't have that Usman Dembele or some other massive Summer Heat SPC card to come out in this game. So that's what I would say. If you want to buy Alan St. Maximin or Mbappe for like this next upcoming weekend league, I would say that you might want to look into purchasing this card 
or, or a another very meta uh, foot birthday or uh, future stars version. I would probably stick to foot birthdays. Five one nine start bid. Interesting. So a lot of people are starting to list this guy up, which I still think you should, uh, because he will bounce back. But I think this card goes under five million uh, in the near future, in the next couple of weeks as he's in packs. So. Watch for some panic leading up to Thursday when that gets re-released. We'll talk about that more later this week. But uh, to focus back on this weekend, right? Today's Sunday. Again, weekend league sell-off. Uh, watch for top five league team of the season cards. I've got two examples right here that I'm kind of keeping my eye on because they've gotten rare. They've gotten rare on the market. They're in positions uh, that are very desirable and there's not a lot of other special cards. And these guys are cheap enough that team of the seasons are still, you know, desired by most people in this game, uh, especially if they're at a certain price. Um, team of the seasons are the most desirable for a lot of people because they're the best stats out of a lot of these cards that are in FIFA. So just watch top five leagues, team of the season cards, top five league tots cards um, this weekend. You might be able to have, have an opportunity here to pick up some cards that get panic sold from the end of the weekend league um because the weekly trend for a lot of these cards has actually been and i don't know if it's it's exactly going to show up when i show you these graphs because uh obviously the daily graphs are a lot less um they're a lot less intuitive than the um you can't see as much fluctuation on the daily graph than you can the hourly graph so you kind of have to remember the hourly graph from the days before but a lot of these guys hit a low point on sunday or monday last week muller was 214 on on sunday and he, he didn't really rise back up uh, into rewards, but a lot of cards do. If you find some rare ones, how about Holland? What about Holland? Uh, what did he do last week? A lot of cards were low on Sunday, uh, 502, and he bounced back to 507. So really not a big rise there. But, you know, like Lala last week was like 330, 320K late Sunday night or Monday morning. Uh, a lot of these cards do get low just from the weekly league sell-off, undercutting, uh, and stuff like that. And then they rebound afterwards as people, you know, use them in your teams. Depay is getting really low. 194, under 200K for this guy. He's dropping a lot recently. Yikes. So yeah, you can see Sunday, 240, and then bang, he went up to 247. So that's not a big rise, but still, um, there will be some decent rises on cards this week, like that Lala. Let me show you Lala because that's a good example. I know that Lala is up a lot right now because of the SAR SBC. But yeah, look at this guy was last week on Sunday, man. Saturday, Sunday, 343, and he just rose all week up to 376, down a little bit on Thursday with rewards, uh, slight supply, and then obviously up to 390 before SAR came, and then now over uh, 400,000 coins because of the uh, links to that SBC card. So just kind of watch for top five league team of the seasons that are starting to get very rare on the market. Compare price, look at how many cards they have active. Like you guys look at Varan. You guys look at Ramos. These are cards that are very, very inflated, very, very rare on the market because uh, of the links to that Furlan Mendy. And to be honest, these guys probably are going to stay really, really rare and really, really expensive. But if you see this guy drop 100,000 coins, that could be an entry point this week, maybe, uh, for a possible seeing him go a little bit higher as people are still using that 93 Mendy as their left backs in FIFA Ultimate Team. So just watch the top five league tops cards as a possible, you know, Thursday flip investment that you would buy earlier in the week this week. If you do want to make some coins this week, that'd be something I would kind of watch out for and keep in tune with. And we'll talk a little bit about that still on uh, the Market Outlook video. We'll talk about more movements that you could see throughout the week. Last thing, some people have talked to me about the current batch one cards, headliners like Neymar. Uh, are these guys going to be viable soon? I would still would like to see Neymar drop like a hundred to two hundred thousand coins. He's got a lot of supply around that two seven range. I would like to see him. Ooh, two seven flat. Is that going to get bought? That's probably going to get bought. I would like to see this this guy still drop another hundred or two hundred thousand coins um, in up leading up into this week. Is it going to be a buy at some point? Yes, I feel like some of these guys are going to be a buy. I really like the shapeshifters, right? And I wouldn't go crazy on this, but it's got to be super meta. It's got to be super linkable and it has to be fit into teams and the price range of this stage. Uh, there's there's not really like a middle ground right now on FIFA. A lot of people have mega coins still, millions of coins. A lot of people have like 200K. So, you know, this Vinicius card is one that I'd be very interested in. Um, Ribery, Conte is a very rare card. I wouldn't like Mendy because of his, obviously he's got the, uh, the 
uh, summer heat card. Marcelo is a decent one. Um, a tall at 50k for this card, like that's crazy. This team of the season card is still 700,000 coins, and this card is 50k. I think a, a tall could be one that would rise out of packs as batch one is now no longer going to be in packs later this week. So there could be a few cards that you could look at buying. When would you buy those? Honestly, Sunday night might not be a bad time for these either. Although they're still in packs until Wednesday, if you think they're going to get hit with reward supply, you might be able to find some undercuts then. But if it's a really meta card like that Ben Yedder, uh, I do like Ben Yedder a decent amount. Lucas Mora, 54K for this card is crazy. That's really cheap for this card. One of the most used cheap beasts in the game, I would say. Like if this guy is in the 40,000 coin range, you might see me buy a couple of them. So just keep an eye out for maybe some shapeshifters, maybe some headliners, and hopefully they drop a little bit more throughout the week this week with whatever content we have in foot. Uh, and then they might be a slight rise on some cards, some cards, uh, as we do head into batch two, more stuff happening in FIFA and stuff like that. But today, I think we are going to see the guaranteed flashback SBC uh, talked about at the beginning of the video. I know it's a long one, so I will stop talking and filling your guys' ear with info. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.